which is why another reason why conversation is so important. And I feel like what we're lacking today is actually being able to have long form, open ended discussions, not just short interviews, not just quick edits and getting people to kind of agree with what is already a preformed notion about something, but actually having discussions and conversations and even arguments, but actually getting into the the crux of what people disagree about. And I think that's, if, that, if anything's gonna be the downfall of society, it's going to be people that can't have conversations living in a world together where people are either too sensitive or too opinionated to actually sit down and learn from each other about different places. Because I, I find that one of the best feelings and the most freeing, liberating feelings for me is actually having my mind changed about something that I really strongly feel because it makes me realize we can always grow, we can always learn. Like an example would be like the prequels. I really harshly judge the prequels. And even in my, like other, like some of the videos that I have on my channel, I'm really kind of like harshly judging the prequels because I grew up and I didn't really appreciate them for what they were. But I've spoken with so many people since then who have not only made me respect the prequels more but actually appreciate them in a whole new light where i'm starting to see them for the story rather than just the execution and the things that i maybe poked fun at them for previously like the, the an overuse of cgi or just creative decisions in general where now i'm actually saying well the, actually there was a beauty and a meaning to the story and the fact that people find that meaningful and beautiful is is really important to me and we're in a we're in a world right now where I think people are so quick to just judge and just shut off. And and it's it's becoming a time where as soon as I watched that Kira Knightley interview the other day that, that when you told me about it, the first thing I thought was this feels like modern day book burning. If if we're going to go into a time where people are gonna say that Cinderella is is inherently sexist and Snow White is sexist and and all of these things and I think they're taking they're also just wiping out all of the historical context and all the actual storytelling context that was layered into those stories. Now I'm not saying that they're the perfect fairy tale for young children to grow up with, but that in itself is almost like if I if I had a daughter and I was showing her those films either before watching it or after watching it, I would I would sit and I'd say so like let's talk about how things are so different these days and this and and you know now you know it might not be the best thing in the world to be kissed while you're sleeping or to go to a ball and just immediately fall in love with someone or you know you'd actually have room on a platform to discuss these things with your child and i think that's one of the craziest things to me as a teacher as you see so many children coming in with all these preformed opinions about things um, among their peers and among teachers, and they're already so quick to just shut down another person's argument um, at a certain age because they're so used to that. And I see it more now than I used to years back when I started teaching. So it's a really interesting phenomenon that's happening. I think we need to get back to a place where we can actually have dialogue again and not just these quick snippets of, of our belief system or our agenda or our political mindset it, because it's getting really dangerous i think it's it's not healthy for humankind not just one political party or the other but it's not healthy for for human beings to think that one way or the highway is a right way to think Sorry. if i was if i was yeah. in the if i was in the chat i'd be doing the clapping emojis right now <laughs> another, another well said no do not apologize that's why i shut up at, just like everybody tells me to and sit back and let you do your thing it was perfectly said. You're 100% right. 